everybody, it's Megan. As always, I hope all of you are doing well. I'm excited. Today, I am going to be showing you guys my top six most used Louis Vuitton handbags in my collection. The six bags that I'm going to be showing you guys are obviously very, very special because I think a lot of you guys know I own, I humbly say, quite a bit of Louis Vuitton and luxury bags. So yeah, these bags are definitely very, very special. Before we get into it, I'm going to throw it out there as I typically do. In case you have not subscribed to my luxury community, I kindly invite you to do so by clicking on that subscribe button you see located right down there below on your screen. And and also by clicking that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So I'll be going through these in no particular order. These bags are so special that I found myself buying duplicates in other canvases, other leathers. So you shall see when I show you the bags. But let's get right into it. Again, no particular order. I am going to first start off with a bag that I did say was my best purchase of 2023. And that is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse East West. This this bag is absolutely stunning, amazing, and beautiful. Yes, I did say it was the best purchase of 2023 in a prior video that's saying so very much because I made so many wonderful purchases. For example, the mini bum bag, high rise bum bag, side trunk, petite mall supply, great purchases. But this one to me was definitely the best. I love the Pochette Matisse original, but when I saw this bag and the edginess of this bag, how much it actually fit inside for being a smaller bag, it really drew me to it. It has the gorgeous gold chain that you guys see right there, the beautiful clasp right there. And it has a wonderful strap that is very, very comfortable and really will go with all heights and all statures. The interior is absolutely amazing. As you guys can see, I do have an organizer in there from Zumani. I've mentioned them a lot, you guys, and what I love about them, if you've watched my videos, you know I've said it, they have the 1.2 millimeter, which is extremely thin. And for a bag like this or another bag like the mini bag bag, all small bags, their organizers are absolutely amazing. In case you're interested in getting one, you can definitely go to their website, zumani.com, enter the code LVLUXDELIGHT, and you will receive 20% on your entire order upon checkout. And that is linked within the description box below. But yes, you guys, this is an amazing bag. I love it so very much. I'm not sure if you saw my unboxing for Christmas, but I had this on my radar because I love this bag so much and I use it so much. This gorgeous bicolor. With this bag, I really think it's the overall look, versatility, and size that really draws me in. So yes, you guys this is one of my most used bags from Louis Vuitton I use it a lot love it so very much now this little kitty is saying I want to be used just as much as the canvas version you definitely will be so the next bag that I'm going to show you guys is going to be another purchase that I made in 2023 oh my goodness I don't have another version of this bag but it is to come that's for sure <laughs> this beautiful Louis Vuitton bum bag oh my goodness you guys I could go on and on about this bag I, this is so very special so amazing I adore the versatility I love wearing crossbody I love wearing it bum bag style I love wearing it over the shoulder and I even enjoy wearing the chain over the shoulder like so obviously removing this strap right here if you guys could just use your imagination just a bit but you see how that looks very very cute very very casually classy as a matter of fact I did do a video on what I consider to be Louis Vuitton's top 10 classiest casual canvas bags from Louis Vuitton. This definitely made the list. So I adore this one. And yes, again, you guys, I don't have another version of it, but I think a lot of you guys know March 1st, I do believe the release date is. There is going to be an unprompt version. Another thing real quick that I love about this bag is the fact, again, you guys, I do have my Zumani organizer in there that's very, very thin. I like to keep my interiors clean. What can I say? Just as important as keeping the exterior clean. But what I love is it will fit any size cell phone. Obviously, this is a very small bag, but the fact that you can fit in a phone of any size and other necessities basically makes this bag an overall win. I adore the chain. I adore the strap that it comes with. There is a ton of versatility with how this can be worn, which is why it is definitely one of my most used Louis Vuitton handbags. I'll get right into the next bag, but I do want to let you guys know that the bags that I'm showing you, the top six, obviously these are newer bags that I've showed you, the Pochette Matisse East West and this mini bum bag, but not all. Some are definitely classics. But the next one that I'm going to show you is more of a newer style, and it's just made with a very classic twist, and it's absolutely amazing. And I am speaking of the gorgeous Louis Vuitton side trunk. I thought the price was a little bit steep for a canvas bag, but when I saw this in person and I actually saw the craftsmanship that was put into it when creating it, I absolutely fell in love. That in the combination of the history of this bag, 
obviously, well, I don't want to say we all know Louis Vuitton started as a luggage luxury company, but they did. It's absolutely wonderful that they decided to create a bag that looks like a little piece of luggage. I love the fact that you can give this bag character by just pushing in right here and giving it a little bit of slouch if you like. How gorgeous is that? And it's interesting too because a lot of people weren't sure how to feel about this bag when it was first released. And then many people have reached out to tell me how they did purchase this bag and it's now their favorite. I absolutely adore how you can wear this tote style. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then the versatility of going from tote style to wearing it over the shoulder or cross body, amazing. And another thing about this bag that I really enjoy and appreciate is the fact that I am five foot eight inches in height. And I think they thought of me when they created this bag because this strap is very generous in length. I love that you can make it quite long. I love that you can make it quite short. It's definitely made for all heights, all statures. I enjoy this bag so very much, use this bag so very much that for my birthday back in July, I was on vacation and I saw this bag and I thought to myself, oh my goodness, I own the monogram version. So I did get it in this debossed leather version. I love Love this silver hardware usually i'm a big fan of gold hardware and this is a situation where i really can't decide again you guys you can change the look and make it more slouchy if you'd like but this is really an example of a situation where i can't choose which one i like more i mean this canvas one is so striking so beautiful it might as well be leather in my opinion so if i were asked which one do i enjoy more i would not be able to answer that i enjoy them and use them equally which is a lot uh oh you guys somebody wants to say hi again he remembers in a video that i did how much you guys love seeing him he said i want to come see my friends again mommy so in the last video i didn't get to show my baby but brownie he's so excited to see his friends again brownie i told you you're gonna get to say hi to your friends are you excited or are you gonna act shy you were such a good boy and why don't you tell everybody how much that you love them now we have to say bye bye to our friends i know it's hard i know I know. I don't found you staring at them. My goodness, you love them so much. I think you like the camera too much, Brownie. A little bit too much? A little bit. That's okay. All right, Brownie, I love you. And we're going to play after this? Yes. Okay, I love you, little boy. Mm, mommy could go on forever about you. All right, Brownie, one more kiss. And wow, good boy. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. He's so cute. He's literally just the sweetest little boy in the whole world. But yeah, I wanted to show him because he was telling me, Mommy, uh oh, he's on the floor right now. Brownie, you can come hang out with me while I do my video. It's okay. But yeah, just as long as you stay away from mommy bags, okay? Okay. So cute. I can't even take it. Brownie, did you have fun up here saying hi to your friends? I know you asked me for a long time to say hi to them again. Oh, 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 Brownie, is this really the time to clean your face? I guess it is. But what did you want me to tell all your friends? You said that you love everybody and you love all of them. And when you told them about your comments, what did you say? Mommy, they love me because love is the most important thing in the world. And they're very, very smart because if they know about love, then that's all they need to know about. And they're so smart to know. Yeah, you always get mommy when you do that. You're just so cute. Those hands. Everybody loves you, buddy. <laughs> Good boy. So the next bag I use so often, so, so, so often, is more of a classic Louis Vuitton bag. And I am talking about the beautiful Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini. Oh my goodness, you guys, I enjoy this so very much. If you do follow me on Instagram, you have seen in my stories, I'm sure, quite a bit how often I have used this bag. I love using it on mini hikes that I go on. I love using it when I go to the beach. I find this to be a very carefree bag. Obviously, it does have the black leather with the monogram canvas, making it a very carefree bag. All right, you guys, so I'm out on a boat right now. And yeah, this is the area where we just moved. And literally, one of the best day bags that you want to take out. Palm Springs Mini, you guys, this is definitely one of my best bags that I enjoy so much. Another big reason I use this bag so very much is for travel. And I don't mean for the travel piece that I bring on an airplane. I'm pretty much talking about having an extra bag, an extra small bag that fits in my luggage. That's great for what? Shopping. <laughs> and I love how it's hands-free. You guys can see I do like to dress up my bags just a little bit to give them a little bit more character. You obviously could copy my style right 
here by just taking one of your Louis Vuitton locks, if you happen to have one, on one of your bags and just putting it on right there. I love this bag so very much. Enjoy it so very much that I actually opted to get the ski collection version. This is from 2022. How amazing is this, really? This is made from a nylon material. I brought this bag to the snow and let me tell you, it's been exposed to snow, a lot of snow, and it has not affected the nylon at all. And I have to show you really, really quick how much I enjoy the interior. How gorgeous is that? Need I say more? <laughs> so I love this for winter and also this is very cute to be worn in the spring months. Say for example, with shorts, white t-shirt, white sneakers, very, very cute. So the Palm Springs Mini is one that I use all the time and one that I definitely recommend. Now the next one is one that, yes, I use it a lot and I could go on and on about how much I enjoy it. This version was released, I want to say, Gosh, two years ago, not three years ago, I think two years ago, but it is the gorgeous and beautiful Speedy 20. Something I've noticed about this bag, you guys, it looks so very gorgeous on its own, but if you were to, you know, put a little charm on it, this is the bag that would just look really, really gorgeous, dressed up just a little bit. I have used this bag, I remember using it for about a week and a half, two weeks straight. And I remember thinking to myself, gosh, if I only had one bag in my collection and this was it, I think I'd be pretty content. Really, I would, because I was enjoying it so much. And also, I think you guys are familiar with the classic speedies. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy them, I use them, but unfortunately, they do not have the extended zipper, which I enjoy so very much because obviously this is a smaller bag. It packs a big punch and you're able to fit your hand in so much better when you do have that extended zipper. Also, the classic speedies, again, I really enjoy them. I really, really like them, but they do not have the upgraded hardware, which is so, so beautiful. Also, the interior color that Louis Vuitton chose, could they have done any better? Obviously not. <laughs> it's just too pretty with this monogram canvas. I enjoy this bag so very much that I could not resist. I was so excited. Oh my goodness. When I heard about pre-orders for this bag, which was months before I was able to get it, the Speedy 20 and the Demiera Ben. This bag is just absolutely gorgeous. And as you guys can see, again, I have the same thing going on where it can just be very, very cute and classic on its own, or you can dress it up just a little bit. And what I do like about this charm, this is the Capucines charm. I like how it kind of just blends in with the Demi Ben canvas where it's not very striking in your face for a charm because it is a larger charm. But because of the black, it does make it a little bit more low key for dressing this bag up. Now, in case any of you guys are interested in the Speedy 20, I did do a detailed review on this bag and I'll definitely link it within the description box below. All videos that I've mentioned, I'll definitely link within the description box below. And another thing I should just note real quick is the strap. I do enjoy the strap. I find it very edgy. At the same time, I really enjoy the versatility of being able to take the strap off and put on a Demira Ben strap. That's amazing. Obviously, you could do the same thing with the monogram version. You could use a Vachetta strap. Now, Louis Vuitton does sell separate straps on their website. They do offer a adjustable Vachetta strap, which I actually purchased for my Speedy 25 bandolier just because I like it to be a little bit thinner. And that happens to be a wonderful option for this bag. They also sell an adjustable Demira Ben strap for the Speedy 20. And you could also obviously use those straps on other bags that you might obtain in the future or already have in your collection. Now, say you guys didn't really want to, you know, put out the money to get another strap and you want to get this Speedy 20. There is a company, Organize My Bag, that does sell Vachetta straps and Demiera Ben straps. So if you're interested in that, I can definitely offer you 10% off. If you look within my description box below, I have it linked. They're absolutely amazing. So the Speedy 20 love it use it very very much and highly recommend to anybody that might be interested in a very cute speedy that you will enjoy very very much okay so the sixth and last bag that i use most often in my collection is going to be one that i use a lot for travel i love taking snowboarding trips i love going on little beach vacations and when i do i always bring a specific type of bag a very large bag i have to admit there are two that i use equally and i enjoy so very much use them all the time. The first is, well, I guess I'll just say it, it's a classic for sure. The Neverfull GM. This bag is absolutely amazing. And with the Neverfull GM, not only do I use it for travel a lot, I use it casually a lot. And when I wear it casually, I wear it cinched in. Now I did mention snowboarding. Maybe some of you guys may be thinking, 
why the heck would I be bringing Vachetta to the mountains where it can snow? Well, that's exactly why I purchased this beautiful Demir Aben version. And obviously you guys know this is very, very carefree. I've owned this bag, I would say, I want to say about three, three and a half years. And it's absolutely immaculate. It's absolutely amazing. And you guys can see again, I do have my organizer. I did mention that there is another bag that I use just as often as this Neverfull GM. Can any of you guys guess? Obviously, it's going to be a big bag because I said I use it for travel. And it is a big bag. <laughs> and it is used for travel a lot. I love it. My on the go GM. This bag with the reverse monogram and the large logos, with the small logos, with the classic monogram, with those small logos. Absolutely amazing. And what I really appreciate about this bag is the longer straps. Because when I put this bag on while I'm traveling, it hits at a very good length, as you guys can see. So this is an amazing bag that I use just as frequently as the Neverfull GM. For travel, I could not pick between the Neverfull GM. It's always a toss-up between that one or this on-the-go GM. Both are absolutely beautiful. And I do love the interior on this. I do have an organizer. I just need to put it inside. That's for sure. The on-the-go GM, Neverfull GM are definitely used by me a lot for travel. Now, I said that I did use my Neverfull GM for travel, also for casual every day, which is very, very true. So I went ahead and cinched in this bag to show you what it looks like. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. But this is just a wonderful bag. And I would definitely consider this to be more of a Neverfull MM size. That's a wonderful thing about the Neverfull GM. You're really getting two bags bags in one, a GM and an MM. And I love the look of this one. The strap length is not going to be as long as the on the go GM, but I think it is absolutely perfect and it definitely works. It's definitely a very gorgeous and beautiful bag. So I'm not sure if you guys did see my picks for Louis Vuitton's top 10 casual canvas bags. At the end, I did have an honorary mention. I'm doing the same thing with this one. And that's because this bag I do use a lot. I just don't use it as often as the others, but I definitely use it a lot. So I have to mention it. And that is this gorgeous petite mall souple. And if you have not seen it in person, this is definitely one to check out. It has so much detail, so much gorgeous class, so much beautiful gold shiny hardware. And I just love the edginess of this one little handle right here. And then the beautiful jacquard strap, which matches the bag so very perfectly. And it is pretty low key how you see that Louis Vuitton. It's not in your face. It's more low key. I love that you have the versatility of using a mall monogram strap with this if you wanted to or, or say for example if you had a black leather strap you could definitely do that the inside real quick i just want to let you guys know is so very soft on the hands and then also you guys see it has the extended zipper so when i go to reach in the bag this extended zipper makes it so much more comfortable on my hands i really 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 enjoyed you guys get the point the petite mall souple as i do all my other bags that i showed you and just to go over real quick the bags that i did show you initially pochette matisse east west love that bag another bag was my side trunk i don't know if i'm doing this in the right order my palm springs mini my speedy 20 my mini bomb bag and then the Neverfull GM slash on the go GM and then we have to mention this beautiful petite mall souple. I could really just go on and on when it comes to talking about Louis Vuitton. I think you guys know by now I really enjoy the brand. So that's going to be it for my top six used or shall I say honorary mention seven most used Louis Vuitton bags in my collection. I'd love to know what your favorite bag is that I showed you so please leave those in the comment section below. I always love hearing from you. All right you guys now's the time within the video where I'm going to completely transition topics as I tip do from speaking about luxury to speaking about something that's definitely more insightful, meaningful, and spiritually inspirational. Today, I decided to go over the topic of the power of a peaceful spirit. There is a big, huge connection between peace and and happiness. When you have peace in your spirit and you do not feel anxiety, depression, worry, all of those negative emotions, that's going to give you a happy spirit. There is no such thing, I have learned this the hard way, <laughs> there is no such thing as Disneyland every single day. It just does not exist. That is going to be saved for the next dimension, heaven, which is where we all want to go one day. But for now, we want to maintain the most peaceful spirit possible because yes, peace equals happiness. And that really is going to be the happiest we are going to get on planet Earth while we are here. I really want to emphasize this. Your peace, your happiness can never ever 
be taken from you. It can never be stolen. That's a lie. You literally have to give your peace away. I'm sure you guys have heard this, that when people go to be with God, what do we say? We say, rest in peace. They're in a better place. They're happier now. And we really could learn something from that, right? I mean, if we're saying they're at peace and they're happier than we are, well, then I would definitely say that there is a lot of happiness in having a very peaceful spirit. So it's almost like we have to go into our day knowing that there are going to be certain types of attacks on our spirits, whether it's situationally or through a person or perhaps our thought life, those automatic negative thoughts that can intrude our minds and just try to steal our peace. It is very important to wear your spiritual armor every single day and to literally remind yourself of God's love and God's presence in your life. The closer you are to God, the closer you are to his light, the happier you are going to be. Please think of it this way. What do you think God truly wants for you, given the fact that you're his child and that you are made literally in his image? You have his DNA running through you right now. What do you think that he wants for you? Obviously, as a father, he's going to want you to live the most peace-filled happy life. That's why he lays out guidelines in the Bible for us to follow to give us the most peace-filled happy life. And a lot of those rules, we could say they're hard to follow, but he gives them to us because he wants us to be happy. The tactic that the enemy commonly uses to steal your peace is remind you of times that you've been hurt by people or by situations that can easily just bring your spirit down. And it's important to realize that that is an attack because you could just be having the best day and you're in a great mood. And then all of a sudden you get this automatic negative thought reminding you of something that hurts you very bad. And before you know it, you're on this wheel of going downward because you keep thinking about that situation, analyzing that situation. And before you know it, you're in a very, very down mood. And that's definitely not a mindset that you want to have. I would say this, whenever you get an automatic negative thought, I have learned this actually through research. <laughs> when you get an automatic negative thought, something that's going to bring down your spirit and you know it, Within five seconds, I would say 10, but really five seconds, squash it down, please. Don't let it go any further because the more it is going on within your brain, the more it kind of festers and the more it's just going to bring your spirit down and the more it's going to steal your peace. And like I said, nothing can steal your peace without your authority. That is wearing your spiritual armor when you're paying attention to the thoughts that come into your mind and you're active about it. So when you receive that negative thought that you know is just not good for your spirit, not good for your peace, immediately turn that channel in your brain to anything that's positive. That's why God says in the Bible, focus on things that are of a good rapport. God's not just saying that for no particular reason. He's telling us to focus on good things to guard our mind from the negative things that want to invade our thought life and bring us down and steal our peace. We cannot control the actions of others. We cannot control the opinions of others. It's really just up to us to respect ourselves enough to know that we deserve peace, we deserve positivity, and we deserve happiness. And that is exactly what a very peaceful spirit will do for you. That is why there is so much power in a very peaceful spirit. So that's going to be it, you guys. If you happen to have any comments or questions on that topic of the power of a peaceful spirit, I should really kind of call it the power of a peaceful, positive spirit because positivity goes right along with peaceful for sure. <laughs> but if you guys have any comments or questions, please let me know. Also, the top six used bags in my Louis Vuitton collection I really should say seven, but that's okay. Any comments or questions, always appreciated. I'm looking forward to my next video. I had fun filming it. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one. If you made it to the end of this video, I greatly thank you. Until my next, very, very excited. You guys take care, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye.